they should not be punished for the sins of their parents. Uh, that's just the, the basic principle that we ought to follow here. As President Trump determines the fate for an estimated 800,000 immigrants, Senator Jeff Flake is one of many Republicans pushing to make DACA permanent law. Uh, President Trump will be announcing the end of the DACA program likely tomorrow. And now the question remains, how will it be done? Many of the people here in the Valley are showing their support for these deferred deportation students. Jason Berry is live where a vigil is set to pl take place tonight off Central and McDowell in downtown Phoenix. Jason. Well, there's quite a bit of support for these dreamers here in the Valley, which is why we are seeing so many of these vigils and protests tonight. They're sending another message to Washington that something needs to be done to stop these undocumented immigrants from living in fear. All 21 year old Vasti La Madrid wants is to graduate from ASU and start her career as a teacher. But President Trump could put a wrench in those plans if he goes ahead and ends the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program known as DACA. This is definitely a scary time for me. You know, without DACA, there is this fear of like, will I be deported? Will I be a target? Um, and it's sort of like hard to wake up every day with like feeling uncertain of how your future will look like. The ASU political science major is just like the 800,000 plus undocumented immigrants across the state and around the country who were brought to the U.S. as children. They are now in danger of losing their legal status if DACA goes away. The program has given dreamers a chance to come out of the shadows, go to college, get a job without the fear of deportation. It's just difficult. ASU senior Eddie Diaz Martinez is hoping that if Trump gets rid of DACA, then Congress will step up and pass a law to keep the program in place. All we want is to contrib continue to contribute to the economy and to our communities the same way that we have been doing. I think a lot of Congress members already do have compassion and I sort of need them to have action now, really take action, come together. You know, you can't gamble the lives of people away. Um, we don't have time to wait. Um, without DACA, like a lot of our lives would completely be sort of like uprooted. And for a lot of people, they would feel like their lives are destroyed. Now, the dreamers I spoke to said that if President Trump does away with the DACA program tomorrow, they will no longer be able to work and go to school unless Congress comes up with some other solution. And that's no guarantee. The vigil here will start at 7 tonight. In Phoenix, Jason Berry for 3TV.